Hey everyone, happy Earth Day 2020. Happy birthday to my oldest daughter, <clears throat> Milan. She's 19 today. I've been a mommy for almost two decades. And happy great awakening. It is important for me to talk on the first day I became my mother 19 years ago. <clears throat> on the day we've proclaimed to be Earth Day, when the Earth is sick right now, um, it is important for me to speak on the censorship that's been going on, the lies, the deceit, the... Uh, The, um, I forgot the words I want to use, <clears throat> but, um, uh, the allergy season right now <laughs> is kind of taking over my throat, so bear with me. But moving on, I'm trying to stay focused. It's a lot on my mind. I want to make sure that this message stays online, even though I don't have a lot of viewers yet. I plan to having them soon, so I want this to stay online as a memory to when this all started and took place. If you are like me and you research and you look through YouTube beyond, um, you know, DIYs or makeup tutorials or whatever, and you're really looking for some, like, truth or some insight on your feelings and thoughts, being that it is Taurus season and I'm a Scorpio, and the planet Uranus is in Taurus, and the new moon is in Taurus later on today. And um, it's just a powerful time right now. It's a grounded time. It's a time to seek uh, stability. Tauruses are stubborn, so are Scorpios, and we just are loyal people, so... On both ends of the spectrum, we kind of still want the same things. And I feel that it's just right in tourist season to speak on the truth. Um, I was just watching Ralph Smart, someone who I follow on YouTube and Instagram. I was watching another uh, young white gentleman. I forgot his name, but I, I just watched him as well. Just getting some insight on a daily basis, I'm getting ready to watch Victor Odo. A lot of people um, who speak not only eloquently about, you know, living your life in truth and elevating. Um, I also look, of course, into astrology with Conja Queen and Pretty Boss and Shanetta. So shout out to all of them and their YouTube channels. Check them out. Um, but... I want us all not to have YouTube channels, but I want us all to think. I want us all to elevate. I want us all to engage in research and reading and then build our own perspectives. I want us to get rid of, um, I'm so lost for words. It's something uh, conscious, dis I forgot what it is, but it basically it means that we are not using our common sense we're in denial about things that go on and we just brush them off the reason that the earth is sick is not because of the virus um, it's not because of the radiation I'm not going to call out the names because according to new censorship community guidelines on YouTube you're not allowed to say certain things and when you think really deep about why you're not allowed to say certain things in the land of the free you begin to wonder, are you being controlled? I don't know about you, but I begin to wonder things. Um, CT. I'm going to use that for conspiracy theory. So CT was definitely developed by certain powers that be in order to keep us quiet and not think. And when I mean that censorship is on all-time high at this point, it's not about fake news. Is about the news that's fake. 
news medias, including this one that we're on, are controlled by six large, powerful, rich, elite people on this earth. And it's not only in conspiracy theories, okay? I'm not trying to sound crazy, but if you also believe in astrology, and astrology is very real, right? It's beyond your zodiac signs and your horoscopes. Astrology is very real, and the planets are lining up as if they are going to make big changes, as if the big changes aren't here already. We are all been sitting in our houses for a month. People are worried about being let out of their house, like we're not supposed to continue on with life. <laughs> the media is pumping fear in us 99.9% .9 of the time. We have to take control. Okay? Um, what I'm doing basically is gearing all my energy into learning as well as speaking the truth. I don't want to spend too much energy on speaking the truth to adults because sometimes adults just have differences and debates that waste energy and we need to reclaim our time. So most of my time is spent on engaging with my children. I have three of my own biologically. I have stepchildren. I have godchildren. I have adopted children. I have grandchildren. <laughs> God grandchildren. So I engage in all of them. Get them to really think and even elevate their minds as young as they are. I'm talking from ages. Momo is 18 months. My grandson. All the way up to my son. My godson Demo who will be his dad, Momo's dad, will be 21 tomorrow. Okay? I speak to my 19-year-old, the one who's turned 19 today, my 13-year-old son, and my 8-year-old daughter. And we all are very in tune with the truth. And we all are seeking better lives. I'm teaching them how to plant currently, make our own food. I'm teaching them how to eat better, take vitamins. They don't like black seed oil, but they take it and they like how it makes them feel. They don't like sea moss, but they take it and, and they like they 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 like they like how it makes them feel. They don't like to take walks to get vitamin D from the sun. But after we've been outside for five minutes, they're having a grand old time. It's very important to give your children experiences and instill positive things in them. No fear. I always tell my children. This might be happening, but there's no worries. We speak things into existence. We talk as if we already have them. We light candles on our altar. There's a candle on my altar right now. That my son lit tonight before he went to bed. We wear crystals. My son wears black tourmaline for protection because he's a black man. A black young man. My youngest wears rose quartz. For eternal love. My oldest wears. Uh, I can't tell you right now. But hers is definitely for. Um, it's blue. I can't tell you that. I can't remember the name of it. But it's for. Um, keeping negativity away. And keeping her positive thoughts always. And I wear my amethyst. And I right now I have it on. The um, altar with clear quartz. And. I forget the other ones, but I, I'm just learning things that are going to keep us going. We have long lifelines in my family. If you know what lifelines are, mine goes off my hand. My grandmothers all lived to be 80. My grandfather, excluding my uh, maternal grandfather who died early um, because he drank alcohol a lot. But mainly my family, my mother's 74, she'll be 74 next in two weeks. My father just turned 72. So I plan on living a long life as well as my children. And in that, we're going to lead by example. And speak in existence that those will follow. So, um... I know that was a lot to take in. I just want to give you all excerpts of everything that is on my mind and excerpts of how I plan on moving forward. Um, one other thing, while this virus is going on, um, I am one of those people that had to take off and um, 
not work because I am as I was asthmatic. I'm gonna speak that into existence. I was asthmatic. Um, I take black seed oil. That helps. Um, oil of oregano helps. Silver collodial helps. Um, I take a vitamin called pisinglenial. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it helps with my allergies as well. I'm not he wheezing. I don't have to take my inhaler a bunch of times like I used to if I go out for walks or want to exercise. I might puff my inhaler once and I'm fine. Just for good cause. I'm healing myself naturally because um, in this new life, in this ever-changing life, in this evolution, some things that I was taught or that I was raised up on just are not fitting me anymore. And I want to learn how to wean myself, live for myself, listen to myself. My intuition is beyond amazing. Never wrong. Just saw 11 11. Ashe. So I'm going to wrap this up. It's almost 2 in the morning, I believe. No, it's 1 11. Huh. I'm seeing all my synchronicity. Synchronicity. I saw 11 11 minutes that I've. 11 minutes and 11 seconds that I have done this video. It's 1 11 on the clock AM 422 2020. How amazing. I celebrate my ancestors. I'm grateful for everything. The universe always has my back. And where one go, we all go. Stick to the plan. If you know what I mean. Y'all have a beautiful Earth Day. Just, uh, please like, share. Um, follow me. Subscribe, please. And comment. Love you all for loving me. TMZ, teaching everyone abundantly, empowering many. Hashay.